but it was not the only creature in his museum to be the victim of misrepresentation. This poor old bird is a dodo. It once lived on the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean, and it's almost certainly the first animal species that human beings actually exterminated in historic times. And so now we talk about being as dead as a dodo. But in spite of its fame, this one is a fake. Its feathers come from a goose, its feet were modeled on a turkey, and its beak, I suspect, is plaster. The museum can be forgiven because no skin or feathers of the dodo survive. Its image was influenced by pictures like this one, painted by a 17th century Dutch artist, Roland Savory. But he had never seen a living dodo and based his image on accounts by seafarers. I've often wondered whether dodos actually look like that. But unfortunately, they'd all disappeared before anyone could get a good look at them. Until now. <laughs> this funny, dumpy creature is how the bird is usually represented these days. But I've seen quite a lot of flightless birds over the years, and this one doesn't quite ring true. An examination of the way its thighs join its pelvis has shown that in life it actually stood much more upright. We now know that its feathers were probably a lot fluffier than in that painting. We also now know that it was related to the pigeon, and some experts suggest that it made a pigeon-like call, doo -doo, doo -doo, which gave the bird its name. The dodo probably fell on fruit. There was a lot of it on the island. I'll try him with a bit. Come on. What do you make of that? <laughs> oh! That's a very powerful beak. In fact, it may well have been adapted for crushing shells and crustaceans for the sake of the calcium. And there's a female. Maybe she is another reason why they had such large beaks to show off with during courtship. And here comes a rival male. He could be another reason for having a huge beak to fight with in disputes over nest sites. Until now, no one has ever seen a dodo egg, so no one knows how big it was. After tonight, who knows?